pool party people and welcome back. I thought for day two of Vlogmas, yes, I'm going with it. I'm calling it Vlogmas I, I, as a joke. It'll probably stop because I'll probably forget, but it's what we're starting with. It's even in my intro. Anyways, for day two of Vlogmas, I thought I'd do an update at theater tour because it's been like three years since I did a tour and things have, they haven't really changed much, but because of our new streaming, I, I do like streaming as if it's like, not a thing, but it is a thing. <laughs> um, there have been a few changes, so let's go check things out. Alrighty, so these are the stairs, which are the entrance. I'm not gonna show the front because there's somebody sleeping there. And also then you'll know exactly where I work. So you come in the stairs and this is the lobby. And then right here to my left is the box office. The main difference here now with the box office is it just never gets used because nobody's here, uh, nobody's buying tickets in person because normally you would have that door open. Um, but currently they don't even have the box office phone in here, it's upstairs. So then you come out of the box office and I'm gonna try to turn off all the lights as I go so I don't forget. And there's another entrance door there up the wheelchair ramp. And then you come over here, oh, here's a fun room that also barely gets used. And this is just like a storage room utilities and that comes out there for different shows huh like we're having them next we come this way men's washroom note note this because i forgot to mention this last time or i noticed after the fact gray slash blue janitor's closet there woman's washroom pink slash peach. Like really guys, really? All right, then we come back out. Oh, here's an update. Sanitizers. We got one here, we've got one there, and then there's one other one in the backstage area. You come through here. This is an update here. Plexiglass over the entire concession. So keeping our volunteers safe. And then you come through here. This is the same art that has been up since February. It's great, love it. Um, I guess we can go this way. So you go down all the way to the end of the lobby. And this is the mother's room in here. So it basically just has seating and it's soundproof and then the music and everything gets piped in so that people who have children can be here without disturbing everybody else if, you know, they start screaming. And then also there's just a bunch of chairs in here. It's the chair room. That is the garbage room, it, like recycling, garbage, etc. Now we'll go this way. This is the house. I've shown it a few times recently. The main difference is we now have the soundboard here. This is where it lives. <laughs> and then over there is like our switching Board. So that's everything to do with the video, which you can see we've got one camera there, one camera here, one camera there. There was a camera up there the other day. Yep, it's still up there. And then there's one on the stage. I can't see it right now though. But yeah, that's what's changed in here as we switch to a different production mode. Oh, and also the seat covers, which <laughs> we've talked about a kabillion times. So now, I'm gonna go up onto the stage here. This doorway also leads up onto the stage, but we'll just take these ones. And up we come. I think that's the other camera over there on that tripod. Anyway, now this here, <laughs> because we're like doing different shows, it's just become the furniture storage place for sets. So we've got like Christmas stuff there. And then back here, it's just the sea of chairs. There are so many chairs and a couple tables so that's um cool and um yeah lighting all that fun stuff then we come around the corner here i didn't know there used to be another uh drop here that was much taller so the lighting back here i had no idea <laughs> this wall had a mural on it until they took that one down and it's really pretty anyways around we go more storage there this is, again, just more production stuff that got added. I think maybe they just didn't always have it hooked up before because we've always had these plugs, but anyways, 
there we go. And more storage. This actually I think is new since last time. The doors at least, I can't remember if they built anyways. More storage for the techs. And then underneath this thing is our grand piano and then more seats, I think. Anyways, let's turn off these lights. So fancy this thing. Off. And now we'll go this way. I really don't want to go down here because like no one goes down here. So I'm sure there's a million spiders and cobwebs. <laughs> Normally, like when we have productions, a lot more people come down here because this is like overflow uh, people place. <laughs> like dance shows, we'll have extra kids down here and stuff, but really it's just seasonal storage. So we've got all our pride stuff there. Sad pride did not happen this year. We normally have this awesome rainbow in the theater and then Christmas stuff and all that fun stuff. Looks like there's some more janitorial supplies. Yeah, and then this right here, like this is technically the orchestra pit, so this comes off the stage upstairs. And back we go out this way. Surprisingly no cobwebs, so maybe people have been down here. And then this here is like the boiler room. Um, there we go, more seats. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. That is a really creepy door. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just sneaking. All right, so in case you're lost, this is the theater house right through here. There we go, stage and everything. This is our stage door, so that's where we all come in. And then this is the green room. I guess I could turn on lights, but whatever. I'm just so used to lights going on. So that's like a lounge area, kitchenette with no sink. <laughs> and then this is the woman's green room. And there is a shower and bathrooms. One of them's broken. And then we come back out. And basically same thing over here, men's green room. Lights, are you coming on? There we go, <laughs> shower, toilets. And right back through there is the lobby. Oh, before I go upstairs. So this is the concession from the other side. Very exciting. This is the concession closet. It just has a fridge and some shelves for more drink storage. This is also under stage. I, nobody has a key on their key ring, um, but it's just more storage for drinks and stuff. And then up we go. Alrighty, so we are upstairs now. This is like, I don't know, just a room. <laughs> this is like the biggest difference up here. We keep cardboard here now. No, just kidding. I mean, we do, but. <laughs> This is now our secondary sound booth. So I believe, I can't remember, but I think if we're going, if we're doing recording, our sound tech is up here. If we're doing live streams, he sits at the one in the theater, I think. Then right here, we have like our archive room. I like never go in there. We have a workshop room. It's always like in this state of a little bit of a mess. This is, you might remember, this is where I was getting all my paint from before the summer. A friendly reminder to be safe. Also, the other day I was going in here and I pulled this handle to open the door and I pulled the entire handle off so I don't trust it anymore. And through here we go. This is like um, the lighting side. So you got your spot that can go through there. And then this is the lighting booth. So exciting. I think he's got like, that's new, that server there. There's a lot of new storage capacity things in here. Nice view over the theater and then all the like filters and everything for the lights. And if you come in here, you have like the same as over there. That's a spot hole, but it's um, just storage in here. <laughs> All right, back out we go. I didn't realize the theater was this big because I've been filming for a while now. <laughs> All right, so those are the stairs we came up. There is a men's washroom up here. There's the lights. <laughs> 
There is a woman's washroom over here. This door just goes outside onto the roof. And then we have one office, two office, three office, four office, and a printer room. And that's also got like our more archives there, that kind of stuff. And then last but not least is a room that you are familiar with, which is the sewing room. So exciting. <laughs> I hate myself. Anyways, and then to complete the tour, my battery is dying. Like what the heck? I changed this yesterday. We go down these stairs. This is the roof I'm always trying not to hit the camera on when I'm vlogging going down these stairs. And then back into the lobby. Yeah, so I thought that'd be a fun thing to do today. I'm gonna quickly slam my breakfast drink because I think it's about time to start and I will check in with you in a little bit. No, probably after work now. Alrighty, well, I am back home from work now. Is that, yeah, that is what I was trying to say. Oh, oh we doing great. Um, <laughs> my boss texted me like 10 minutes before I was off. Oh, my battery's gonna die. I don't think I have enough time for this. Alrighty, I am back. So he texted me like 10 minutes before I was off and he asked if I was still at work and I was like, yeah, oh my God, there's a hair in my face. Oh, everything is terrible. <laughs> um, and he's like, okay, wait for me. I'll be there at like noonish. And I was like, I don't wanna. <laughs> But I waited and yesterday I guess was Latte Tuesday and so everybody got something from Starbucks and I wasn't there so he brought me Starbucks and look it says Vlogmas Day 2 on it. There now it's focusing Vlogmas Day 2. Yeah I wrote that myself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know if I'm making fun of Vlogmas or just like going hard into it. I don't even know. I think I've just reached the point of the year where I've just completely gone insane and um, I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> Speaking of like, just it's, you know, that time of the year where it's just like, oh, done. I went into the sewing room slash boardroom slash we have a fridge and a coffee machine in there. And um, I was like, oh, smells like coffee. My coworker must have just made a coffee. <laughs> and like not 10 minutes later he comes in and he's like I screwed up and I was like what he's like I made a coffee without the cup it's a cured machine he did not put the cup in it and he just put it down and pressed the button to brew <laughs> uh, and I was like oh man I hope that's not an indication of your day so he like cleaned it all up he like brought the tray over to the men's bathroom and then I hear him go it is an indication of the day I just felt this in the bathroom <laughs> so yeah you know it's that time, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change because I am wearing, I mean, not like I could wear this all day, but I'm gonna change. And then maybe put on some makeup because I wanna just like do it. I wanna do it, man. I wanna do it. <laughs> and then um, the plans for today, let's see. PJ pattern, key. I need to make a thumbnail for yesterday's vlog, which I edited last night because I am crazy. And then, I kind of want to blog, start blogging again. Like when I was editing November's, I think it was November's intro. Yeah, no, yeah, November. Oh my God, this is going great. When I was editing November's intro, I had been vlogging in that. And then so like last night I was reading some of my vlogs, like I think September was the last time I vlog, blog, blogs. It's just a train wreck. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I should do that again. So I kind of want to get back into that. And then, so if you remember at the beginning of quarantine i edited or like covid march march i edited um my one book and i was like i want to switch focus to a different one and i was going to work on one but like it basically has a global pandemic in it and i was like oh too soon too soon i don't want to do that and so then i switched focus but i thought i had planned that one out like all the characters and stuff so last night i was looking for it and i don't think i have i planned out the characters I need but I did not actually plan them out so now I'm like should I do that or should I do the other story where I planted all the characters and I've typed them all up I don't know so I'm gonna think about writing which is crazy but awesome I'm gonna think about that today but first I'm gonna do those things I just said
decided to fully embrace it and I did the green eyeshadow and went hard in with the red lipstick. Also, I haven't done a cat eye in freaking ages and it was a struggle and it don't look great. But that is fine. My mom came in and she was like, are you going somewhere? I was like, no. She's like, but you're wearing makeup. I'm like, I want to wear makeup for me, mom. Jeez. Anyway, um, just wrote my first blog post since September. Oh my god, that is amazing. Also, I'm getting yesterday's vlog exported right now because I did edit it last night, but then I didn't export it because I wasn't sure about the music. Yes, guys, I did it. I bought a music licensing subscription for the year, which is like a big deal. That is me investing in this channel, and you can better believe that this entire month <laughs> is going to be Christmas music anytime there is a time lapse or I need music or whatever, because you know what? We're gonna get the most out of this. <laughs> My intro song um, for the December intro is a song called Christmas Cheer by Mark Robillard. Um, and then he had, I think it's him as well. Is this it? Ah! And then I found another one of his called Merry Christmas from a Distance, which I just love because it's so on theme for this year, obviously. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to make myself some lunch because it is like quarter to two and um, I should do that. I think I'm just going to have a chicken burger. We had chicken burgers last night and um, why not have more? <laughs> and then when that's done, I will upload this and then, fingers crossed, it might happen. Let me look at my list here. I'm gonna cross off blog and I'm gonna cross off go to work and I'm gonna cross off my vlog. I, pajama pattern, maybe, maybe? Um, we'll see, there are a few other things I wanna do, like I wanna get some stuff um, ready to send over to my cousins for Christmas, um, with my aunt hopefully, but yeah food time. So my hair has now reached the length where it's there's just a lot of it and I love it and then at some point probably in the near future I'll be like there's too much hair and I'll cut it but hoping to get like I don't know it's down to here like maybe like another four or five inches. I don't know we'll see. Anyway um, I figured that now would be a good time to talk about my skull candy hash threes. So I used them a bit yesterday and then I used them at work for pretty much four hours today. And one, they are so comfortable. Like, I, I had no problems with the other ones. I was like, those are comfortable. These ones are like a million times more comfortable. I love them. Also, remember when I was yesterday, or was it yesterday? Yeah, where I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, I'm a little bit concerned about the hinge because it turns. Well, sometimes, like today, there was another, okay, sorry. There wasn't another delivery. That delivery that I was in at work on, was it Friday for? and I was listening for, it just never showed up. So <laughs> I had to listen for that today, but I'm like, I'm not gonna like screw around today. I'm gonna just do my tasks and hope I hear it. And so I kept one ear off and like, because of the twisting, it was perfect. It was still comfortable. And I wasn't like, oh my God, are my headphones gonna break? Cause I think that's why my first set of Hesh 2 started to break was cause I would always do that. Um, cause it was sound in this side that stopped working. So that's very exciting and sound quality is great. My biggest concern, like I don't know about battery life yet, like my Hesh 2s, I swear would last forever. These ones, it says 22 hours, so who knows, I might have to charge them more regularly, but the only one thing that I've noticed that's a little bit concerning is the Bluetooth connectivity, not like the actual pairing, that was super easy, but yesterday I was wearing them when I was putting my clothes away, and I was like 10 feet away from them and had like my cube thing as a barrier, and the sound was starting to cut out. So that's a little bit concerning because I've had some, I don't, I think it was Skull Candy. Yeah, they were, um, the Jibe, was that Skull Candy? Anyways, they were like earbuds, but they were connected together. And like, I swear sometimes if I had my phone in my pocket or if I was sitting at a table and my phone was under the table, it would cut out. So I don't feel like the range is as great with these ones. But other than that, I mean, if that's my only downside so far, I think we're doing all right. So that's cool. I just want to share that. I'm currently just waiting for the oven to heat up. I have my sole chicken burger there. Uh, this is why I wish I, I miss having a toaster oven because toaster ovens just heat up so much faster, but it's fine. Anyway, so I'm going to have my lunch. And then I think unless something comes up, it's going to be PJ pattern time.
Well, we went and picked up a Christmas tree. Um, it's, it's not going up yet. Uh, maybe, maybe this weekend, maybe next week. I don't know. Anyways, we have a Christmas tree and I am currently like in the middle of <laughs> cutting out uh, the patterns, the patterns for the pajamas. So one exciting thing I learned is that the pajama shorts have pockets. That's amazing. <laughs> and um, the shorts are cut out. The shirt is taking a while longer, which I didn't, I knew it would because it's just, it was like 34 pages or whatever. But I've got probably a third of them taped together and or cut out so that's exciting i'm just gonna keep doing this so um yeah <laughs> Alrighty, so the pattern is cut out. This is the shorts and I've got the legend there and this is it's a top and I can tell you I hated every minute of it. So the shorts I did up here and it was okay because I had enough space and I was like I won't have enough room for the shirt so I brought the shirt downstairs because I was like oh I will cut it downstairs in the living room because there's more floor space than I have here. And I started to do it and then I was like oh I gotta cook dinner so then I cooked dinner and then I was doing it and then my mom, she smokes, terrible habit. I'm super allergic to any smoke. <laughs> and so she smoked and then she came inside and then I just started to die. So I was like, okay, I guess I gotta come do it up here. And it was just painful. There's not enough, like there is just, there's just not enough room. And so it took way longer than it needed to because I had to keep, like cutting out as much as I could and switching. So yeah, anyways, like I said, hated every minute of it. <laughs> um, but you know, it's done now, so that's exciting. It is currently Wednesday, so I think I'm off Saturday, so I might just try to like go real hard and <laughs> make the entire um, pajama set on Saturday. Now, there are two obstacles currently preventing me from doing that. One, I don't have buttons, so like I can't even make the buttonholes because yeah, if I don't know what size the buttons are, I can't make the buttonholes. Okay, one big problem. Two, I still haven't been able to find the correct elastic for the shorts and in the correct size. I managed to find it in Walmart at a meter length, but I need two meters for the pattern. That's what it calls for. So. We'll see. Also, I had to cut the largest size for the shirt because I got the boobies. They're super annoying they are. So annoying. Anyway, um, I'm now in my pajamas. I've mostly gotten ready for bed. It is quarter to 10. I'm not like super tired, but I also don't really have anything to do. Like the only other thing that was on my list to do today, I think, um, was put pictures up on the wall and now I don't feel like it. And, um, do a we not we fit it's not we fit it is nintendo switch adventure a workout because i was like i could go for a walk but it's really cold um i did lose a lot of time though when we went out and got the christmas tree but that's fine speaking of christmas look room decor it's hilarious because like these garlands up here those are from christmas last year i was like they're fine but I think I might do that tomorrow. We will see how the day goes, but that is currently the plan. Also, tomorrow is Pit Mad, and so I'm trying to decide if I want to pitch my story on Twitter. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to chill for a bit. I think I need to drink some water. I'm feeling a bit dehydrated. Just watch some YouTube. Beautiful. And um, eventually got to pack my snack for work tomorrow, but not quite yet, I don't think. I could really go for, oh man, I could really go for a chocolate milkshake right now. I was gonna say ice cream, but chocolate milkshake sounds even better. I'm like, when is Wendy's open till? <laughs> Frosty's almost the same. Anyways, I'm gonna go and um, try to do a couple more things before I go to sleep. Okay, so um, I've just been editing today's vlog. Look at me go, because I don't know if you noticed, but I'm double posting vlogs now at this moment because I'm like you know what screw it I'm doing vlogmas and I want to do vlogmas on the proper days and so a vlog went up at eight this morning and then another one on English and then the first vlogmas one went up at 
4 p.m. So I'm going to do that. I think I have to do that until the 6th. And then hopefully my Vlogmas vlogs will be going up at 8 o'clock every day. But we'll see because to do that it requires me either getting up at 6 in the morning or editing the night before, which is what I'm doing right now. So that's really exciting. Um, I have not, however, drank any water since that last clip that I filmed where I said I was going to. I did, however, make myself a giant thing of chocolate milk, which was I figured was like as close as I could get to a chocolate milkshake. But, you know, that's fine. This is like a super long vlog because I did that theater tour at the beginning of it. It's like 25 minutes already, but it is fine. So, yeah. I'm wearing my robe. I am super cozy. Everything is great. I'm pretty much ready for bed. I just need to brush my teeth and fill up my water bottle so I can like at least drink half of this before I go to sleep because otherwise I feel like I'm like shriveling up. I'm becoming a raisin. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because it's uh, 20 after 11. Finish editing this vlog. I don't think I'll export it tonight though. I can export it tomorrow. And um, yeah, with that I'm gonna say thanks for coming along on day two of Vlogmas. What are we even doing? <laughs> And I'll see you tomorrow when we do similar things. <laughs> Good night.